us for the moments that define the year. Year in Review 2022. Watch on BBC iPlayer. This is BBC News and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the globe. I'm Lequesta Burak. Our top stories. <laughs> Celebrations have been taking place around the world to herald the start of 2023. Addressing crowds in St. Peter's Square in Vatican City, Pope Francis has paid tribute to his predecessor, Pope Benedict, who died yesterday. Let us all join together with one heart and one soul in thanking God for the gift of this faithful servant of the Gospel and of the Church. As Russian missiles strike Kyiv, a former international criminal tribunal prosecutor calls for Vladimir Putin to be tried in Ukraine for war crimes. And Croatia begins the new year with a new currency switching from the kuna to the euro. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Cities around the world have been welcoming in 2023 with the latest New Year celebrations taking place across the United States, Canada, the Caribbean and Latin America. This was Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and you can see the crowds there and of course the fireworks on Copacabana Beach. A vast or rather quite a change to the last uh, two years when celebrations were scaled up or scaled back because of the pandemic. The BBC's Louisa Pilbeam has been looking back on how the world has been seeing in the new year. Times have changed and with Covid restrictions lifted in most parts of the world, fireworks lit up skies with crowds able to watch below. In London, 100,000 people on the banks of the Thames and a moment of royal reflection. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service. People came from around the globe, happy to watch the tradition in person again. Amazing. I've got goosebumps everywhere. <laughs> now, this is my first time in London, but it, it made me amazing. Amazing. That was, that was awesome. Happy, Happy New Year, New Year London. London. Happy New Year. In Edinburgh, Hogmanay was back with a bang, welcoming crowds for the first time in three years in typically fine spirits. But one of the first to the party, as always, New Zealand. And Australia turned up in their usual flamboyant style. China recently lifted many of their COVID restrictions, meaning people could gather in large crowds. Paris was chic as ever. And in Kyiv, muted celebrations, a new year and approaching a year since the Russian invasion. Then it was time for perhaps the most famous celebrations of all in New York. A 
a world in different lights then, seeing in 2023 with the same hopes for a brighter year. Louisa Pilbeam, BBC News. Well, the New Year's Day parade has returned to the streets of London for the first time since.